How you doing folks? Uh, this is going to be another one of my videos on, uh, I did some phone videos a while back on Facebook and uh, I'm going to kind of re redo them. Um, some of you ain't heard it, but uh, form is basic form, whether you come from compound to traditional, traditional and going into compound, your basic form is your basic form from one bow to the next. Uh, you know, the only difference in maybe traditionally not using a release aid, using your fingers, whether it's three under a split or a thumb, a thumb ring. Uh, but form is basic form. Uh, I've heard, seen plenty of posts that where somebody says, you know, well, I don't worry about form, you know, out in the woods, but form is still form to make good shots, whether you're in the woods, in a tree stand, or on the ground. I mean, I've got myself in plenty of positions. I hunt a 62 inch bow out of a tree stand when I do hunt a tree stand, but a lot of times I'm on the ground. Sometimes you gotta, you know, reach around, you know, but basic form is basic form. And, you know, keeping your whole form triangle in your upper body, I care less what my lower body does. And I've had to do that in uh, 3D shoots where I had my left leg kind of out in front of my right leg, but I still had to maintain an upper triangle. So we'll break down, what I'm gonna do is break down the form in small pieces. And you know, one of the first things is that you gotta, you know, mess with is your mind. Uh, your mind is part of your form. You know, as you go through, you know, your hand placement on the bow grip, uh, your anchor points, all that's checked by your mind. And if you don't hit them consistently, you'll get it, you know, locked in there. And the main thing with your form is, is have something that you can go to that's repeatable. It's the same way with compound shooting with a release. I came from compound and got, and started shooting traditional. And uh, I found out real quick my form was not and I knew I had bad form from compound shooting. Uh, it's, it didn't show up at 30, 40 yards. It showed up at 60, 70, 80 to 100 yards. But with a traditional bow, it'll help show you errors in your form about immediately, even as close as three to five yards. Uh, you know, for new for new people, who are, you know, uh, that's just starting out. Uh, you'll have to basically get yourself tuned, you know, get your form down, get your release, because if you start trying to tune arrows and tuning, you know, your bow a little bit, you know, I try to tune for hunting, tune for quiet, then I take the same the same setup and take it to, say, 3D shoots or any other type of competition. So, uh, with me, shooting for Martin archery, you know, I'll be, I use this bow, which is a, a Savannah Stealth, it's a Damon House Savannah Stealth, it's a hybrid reflex deflex, so it's kind of a, it's, it's a long bow, but it's actual, you know, across from a long bow to a recurve, so uh, that puts me in a traditional class, not just a long bow class, so, uh, but, you know, form, is repeatable you know no matter what you do uh, I don't care you know but if you're just like I said if you're starting out and kind of jumping around but if you're starting out you know you're gonna have to get yourself tuned get your form good enough to start tuning your arrows and we'll get into that on down but uh, and you know what I did was basically you know have fun and it takes it takes some people a shorter amount of time to get their form down where they can start tuning and it took me a little while uh, and trying to ask questions and figure out I ruined about a dozen arrows and not knowing you know that that was you know, there's plenty of stuff out there plenty of information on the internet but you know, I went ahead after about four months was trying to tune my arrows and I ended up losing out, you know, on some gold tip traditionals, you know. Uh, I think I was using the blims and, you know, 60 bucks is 60 bucks, you know, for a full dozen. And, 
you know, I cut them too short. And as my form got better, it started showing up. So we're going to take the form, you know, your mind starts the whole thing, how you perceive your target. Um, it, it transfers all the way down to the end and even after you go get your arrows. And what you look at is how, is what your mental state's going to be when you take it back for the next, you know, next end of arrows. So uh, I'm going to start with the, uh, the grip. Uh, the grip I, I like to do is, you know, basically, you know, put my hand in the throat and I try to keep it on this fatty part. I try to stay out of the lifeline because you want to use, there's a, use your arm, your bone structure to hold, you know, to hold everything on your bow arm. But as far as your grip, I try to keep it, you know, kind of out to kind of like a 45 and I shoot that way. Some people shoot, you know, with their hands all the way around it. I don't. I just kind of kind of keep it laid on there. I just at least a little bit of twitching in that bow hand on your grip is going to torque the bow one way or another. So if you get a good consistent grip and you don't have to say per se, everybody's grips the bow way different, whatever works for them. This is the most comfortable for me and that's what I use. So I'll just lay it up there and matter of fact, my shoot, I haven't shot today because it's been snowing and sleeting and everything here. But, you know, with a basic grip there, you can see, you know, get where I'm at. So that's about where I'm at right there. So when I take it, and I just, you know, just let, I don't try to grab the bow. I just kind of keep my hand around, my finger around it just enough to catch it. So I'm not even trying, it's not going to fall or nothing like that. But, uh, you know, you know, that's one of your checkpoints your mind's going to check, you know, once you start off, once you get that grip, grip set in, and that's the way it's comfortable when you're going to shoot like that. You need to grip the bow the same way every time. If you start, you know, white knuckling it, what we call, um, or why I call it, where your knuckles, you're grabbing the bow and trying to hang on to it, you're going to find yourself your bow arm's going to go all over the place and your airs are going to go over the place because you might grip it too hard one way, torque it to the right, it could glant and go off to the left a little bit and you'll, you'll forever chase your tail. So always try to keep a, a light grip, a relaxed grip on it. And when you draw back, <clears throat> the weight of the, the draw weight of the bow is going to keep it in your hand. It's not going anywhere. So. I always just try to keep a light grip on it <laughs> and and basically we'll just show you so here I ain't got it and I just let it do what it wants to do after the fact but I just try not to move my bow arm or try to catch it and I, and I still I work on that my bow arm most of the time but this grip I keep I'll get that in first I'll get ready I'll come up with a draw draw back and you know that draw way to hold that bow in your hand and the main thing is it's trying to rest on your bone structure let all let your bone structure hold it in place because that way you got something solid to hit to in your in your arm so <clears throat> that way you, your muscles ain't doing a whole all everything and trying to hold the bow in place once you set it in that bone structure and you and you let it sit there and that weight of that bow will push against your bone structure and you're able to keep a relaxed relaxed grip so I hope this is helpful and uh, you know however way you find a way that you grip the bow that's you know that's uh, comfortable and that's going to help you shoot and as long as it, you do it repeatedly. So if you start changing grips up, your shot's going to change this, that, and the other. So that's, you know, a little tip. And it's kind of, form is you know, been around a long time. It's not just, you know, from videos I watched. I've seen some older videos that were recommended to me by uh, Jeff Cavanaugh. <clears throat> 
you know, and like John Schultz. John Schultz made video made a, a video that I recommend everybody to watch is on a Howard Hill style of shooting. And everything that he does and talks about is the basic form that's repeatable and that we do now. And you'll have people just come along and just remind you as you go along and, and it's a good thing to remember. So that's a good form is your base foundation on how you're going to shoot. If you got bad form, bad shots, and that's the result of it. And if you want consistent shots is working on your whole form, your whole shot process. And we'll break it down after my next video will be on the bow arm. And that's something I work on most of the time because that gives me my left and right misses, up and down misses, you know, if you've, and all that. So we'll talk about that. So just work on your grip, get a consistent grip, and you can kind of go from there and take each step and your mind takes in a checkpoint. All right, I got my grip, then I'm gonna hit my anchor point or how, whatever anchor point you use, whether it's your middle finger in your mouth or index finger in your mouth, or you put it on your eye tooth. Um, we'll get into all that. So I uh, hope y'all have a great day and God bless.